Hello everyone, welcome to video lecture series of computer organization and architecture. Today's topic is addition and subtraction of sign magnitude numbers. In the previous video, I have discussed about the addition and subtraction and the hardware implementation. So this video is about the hardware algorithm for addition and subtraction. Let us begin. See, as you are aware with, whenever there is a requirement to perform addition and subtraction for the sign magnitude in our daily life, you used to do it very quickly. Because you know that when you have to add two numbers, you used to see what are the sign of those two numbers, whether they are positive or negative or opposite sign. Accordingly, you deal with the magnitudes and accordingly you place the uh, like uh, sign. Suppose you have to add two numbers, plus three and plus five, you are going to do what? Plus eight. If you have to subtract two numbers, you have to check the conditions, whether the first number is greater than B, another number or the first number is smaller than another number or both the numbers are same. So here, we our objective is to derive a hardware algorithm so that the sign magnitude addition and subtraction can be done. Suppose we have two numbers A and B. So there is a requirement to store these two numbers into a registers. So two registers, one is for storing number A, another is for storing number B is being used. AS and BS are the two flip-flops. These flip-flops store one bit and that bit reflects the sign. One for negative and zero for positive. There is a requirement of adder because the micro operation A plus B is being going to be performed. And for the subtraction also, you know, when you have to subtract one number from the another, so the number which is to be subtracted, if you take its two's complement, means B bar plus one, add it into first number, means via addition subtraction can be performed. But for complementing, the complementer is being used over there. In general, there are three ways to represent negative fixed point binary numbers. One is signed magnitude, other is signed one's complement and the third one is signed two's complement. And most of the computers use signed two's complement representation when they perform arithmetic operations with integers, right? Now, this table already I have discussed in the previous video. But just to give you a review about the hardware algorithm, the flowchart, you must have review on this. In the first column, all the operations, we have taken two numbers, all possible combinations. First four combinations for the summation, starting from row 1 to row 4. Then from 5 to 6 is for the subtraction, whether both numbers are positive, whether both numbers are negative, whether first is positive, second is negative, first is negative, second is positive accordingly, right? So some of the important things which you must be aware when we are going to design and discuss the hardware algorithm means here initially signs are to be com compared, right? The sign of number A is stored in ES, AS and sign of number B is stored in BS. So, signs comparison that is very very requirement required over here and exclusive OR operation is being taken out. See, if the number A is positive, number B is also positive. So, what the result you will be getting? Positive means 0, 0 and exclusive OR of this will be 0. Second condition when A is negative, B is also negative means 1, 1 then exclusive OR will be 0. It means when the result of this exclusive OR of these two signs AS and BS that is 0 means whatever the operation is required that will be performed. Means if addition is need to be performed, addition will be done. Subtraction is required, subtraction will be done, right? If you take this example, number A is positive, plus A, plus, plus B. What you are doing? Both the numbers are positive, you are adding A plus B. And what is the sign of resultant is plus. If you are subtracting, suppose first number is negative, another number is also negative. And if you are subtracting these two means you are writing what? Minus A plus B. If we say A is greater than B, so what you are going to write? Minus of A minus B. It means when subtraction is required, you are doing subtraction. When addition is required, you are doing 
addition. But what is happening over here when the signs are opposite means if A is positive and B is negative, right? Means this is 0, this is 1. What will be the exclusive or? A is X or B is. If you compute this, you'll be getting 1, right? 1 means what is to be done? Let us have an example. Suppose number A is this. You have to add this number and the another number is negative, right? Here, what is required? Addition operation. But what actually will be performed? Subtraction. Right? You are getting over here. Let us take one more example. Suppose one number, first number is negative, another number is positive and we have to subtract this. Right? So, what we are going to write? Minus A minus B which is equal to minus of A plus B. It means you must remember here addition is performed. When we have to perform subtraction, addition will be done. It means when the exclusive or is 0, whatever the operation is required, that is going to be performed. When the symbols are opposite, whether the first number is positive, second negative or first negative, second positive, the reverse operation is performed. This is going to help when I am going to explain you the flowchart. This is the flowchart for the addition and subtraction operation when we are dealing with the, right? So, here the two numbers have been taken. When we have to add the two numbers, one number is A stored in organ, which you say usually organ and the second number added, right? So, here I will explain you in four steps. First step is the rightmost. Now, you see, first what you are doing? Exclusive or of A S and B S. Whatever the sign, we are saying whether both are positive or both are negative, right? When both are positive, exclusive or will be 0. When both are negative, exclusive or will be 0. It means now follow this particular step. So, when it is 0, means the required operation will be performed. And what is the required? That is the addition. See, addition is performed. AS is equal to BS means the sign of both the numbers are same whether they are positive or negative. Directly what is being done? A plus B with the help of parallel adder these numbers have been added and the result is stored in EA. E is, EA is extended accumulator. E is also a flip flop which store the overflow if there is any carry being generated. So EA you must remember this is the extended accumulator. Let me write it. It is extended accumulator and E stores if there is any overflow, right? And when there is any overflow, so that will be transferred into AVF, add overflow flip-flop, right? So, this is how and then there will be a end of the program. So, this is how addition operation is being done when both are having same symbol. Now, let us have a look for second step on the leftmost step of this add operation. What, ha what is happening here? If the XOR of AS and BS is 1, means if first number is positive, second number is negative, means 0 and 1. XOR of 0 and 1 is 1. If first number is negative, second number is positive. Means first number its sign is 0, sorry 1 and the another number sign is 0. Its XOR will be 1. So what is happening in this second process when the XOR is 1? Now you can see the reverse operation is performed. Reverse operation means this is second one. Subtraction. Though addition was required, but because of the symbol, subtraction have been performed. As I have given you the example, let's have a look. Suppose first number is plus A, another number is minus B. You have to add these two numbers. So, what you are going to write? A minus B, right? So, it means subtraction will be done. Now, when subtraction will be done, see the path number 2, when B, B subtracted, take the 2's complement of B, add it into the A, means A plus B bar plus 1. So, here what operation is being performed? A plus B bar plus 1 and result is stored in EA, which is the extended accumulator. This is EA, right? 
and AVF is set to 0. Why AVF is set to 0? Because when the numbers are subtracted, no overflow can occur. Right? So, in this case, no overflow will occur. And then, let us check the situation of E. What is the situation of E? It is 0 or 1. Depends. See, when the subtraction is being done, you have seen in the table, there were three conditions, whether A is greater than B or A is equal to B or A is less than B. So, now let us check the situation for E. It is A is greater than or equal to B. See, when you are performing A minus B and A is greater than or equal to B, either it will be 0 or non-zero. But whatever the result you are getting, that will be the positive. So, when A is greater than or equal to B, there will be two conditions. If it is equal, you will be getting the difference as 0. If the result is 0, so definitely AS must be kept 0. Means whatever the result, suppose result is 0 and AS is a flip-flop which stores the number, which stores the sign and if reflects 1, that will be the indication of something else. It means when result is 0, so AS flip-flop that is being cleared, that is being set as a 0 and that will be the end of program. But when a is greater than B, whatever you are getting that is non-zero and that would be the final result. See as if over here, when A is greater than B, whatever you are getting that will be the final result, right? So this is how the addition operation can be performed. Now let us discuss about the subtraction operation. Subtraction again, let us say path number three, this one. So, when we have to subtract the numbers, if the both numbers are positive or both numbers are negative, in both the cases, AS and BS reflects the sign of the num reflects the sign of both the numbers. And if you take XOR, it will be 0. It means whatever the operation requires, subtraction, subtraction will be done. See, a case minus A minus of minus B, right? So, what you are going to write? minus a plus b or you take minus common so that will be a minus b this is the condition when a is greater than b otherwise you will be writing b minus a so it means subtraction was required and subtraction is to be done and then see the condition as is equal to bs yes obviously we have seen in the over here then a minus b again means what a minus B means take its two's complement, add it to the A. So, what do you have written? A plus B bar plus 1 and the result is stored in A, right? And because subtraction was done, it means there will be no overflow. So, that is being set to the 0. Now, let us check because here addition operation is being performed. So, if there is carry generated, E is that carry generated if there is any that is going to be stored so let us check the condition for e if it is 0 0 means whether the number a is less than b as i have told you that there were three conditions for the subtraction a is greater than b a is equal to b so here there will be no carry right overflow there will be no carry so when e is equal to 0 it means a is less than b so, when A is less than B, it means whatever the result you are getting, that will, will be the negative one. A is less than B. Suppose you are subtracting 12, subtracting 15 from 12, you will be getting what? Minus 3, right? So, when A is less than B means now whatever the result is being stored in A, which is the accumulator, you are going to take its complement, then adding 1. So, that will be the final result means this number will be represented back. You are taking its two's complement and that will be the final result. At the same time, AS bar means AS represents the sign bit and because the number is negative, so its bar will be copied over here and that will be the end of the program. If A is equal to 1 means A is greater than or equal to B, again the two conditions arises. If A is greater than B, definitely the result will be positive and whatever the positive result, that will be the end of the program. If A is equal to B, that will be 0, means A S will also be set as a 0, end of the program. Now, the fourth condition which remains, this fourth path, this one. This is what 
when this XOR is 1, XOR of AS and BS and this will be 1 when first number is positive, second number is negative, when first number is negative, second number is positive. Means 0, 1 or 1, 0. In both the cases, if you take AS, XOR, BS, you will be getting 1. And what is happening over here? Because we, have, we are performing subtraction operations. Suppose first number is this, another number is minus B, right? Subtraction is to be performed. So what you are going to write? A minus minus this plus. Is, it means subtraction was required, but what we are doing? Addition. Second possibility, first number is negative. Second number is positive. If you are subtracting, so what you are writing? Minus A minus B. Take minus common. A plus B. Again here also you can observe you have to do subtraction but actually addition is performed. That is why now you can see the path of 4, 4 number path. Subtraction was done but when the signs of both the numbers are opposite, the XOR will be 1 and what we are doing? We are performing the addition operation. Just adding the two numbers with the help of the parallel adder. If carry is being generated, that will be transferred into add overflow flip-flop and that will be the end of the program. So let me summarize you. During the addition and subtraction algorithm, you must remember if you have two numbers, so first see the sign of both the numbers. Depending upon the sign bit of both the numbers, take the XOR. If XOR is 0, so addition required, addition will be done. If subtraction required, subtraction will be done. But if both the number signs are opposite and you have to do addition, so actually subtraction will be done. If both the signs are opposite and subtraction is required, so actually you are doing the addition. So this is how you can design the hardware algorithm. This is the flowchart for addition and subtraction operation. This is what I have listed out some of the points which I have discussed during the like elaboration of the flow chart. Thank you so much for watching this video.